Paris. Where did you take me? <laughs> I brought you to the other side of the green corridor. Well, this is like the industry area. It was so hard to find parking. We literally have to like drive for like one hour just to find parking, just to get to this place. I think it was close to two, right? No, I met you at like eight o'clock and now it's like nine something. Yeah, so it's one hour of driving. All right. <laughs> but what is up, you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is a night adventure. I would call this a night adventure because I've never come here before. It's a uh, motorbike. They're very loud. But as I was saying, I would call this a night adventure because I've never been this part of the Green Corridor before. Now, if you guys remember, we have always traveled to Keppel and then there's a stop there, right? And then we travel all the way up to the rail corri rail mall. The rail mall and it stops as well. This here, it's beyond that. This part is crunchy, is that right? Um, yes. I mean, towards, towards to crunchy. Towards crunchy. As you can see, it's equally as dark, but however, this side is quite near to the road, so... Yeah, there's no bushes to, yeah. to, to shield us from the roadside lights. It's just the noise that I am... Okay, so it is an adventure. And one more thing I want to add is that today, because the last time I did a review for the Q8 Pro, <laughs> I think I did an okay job. But however, today, I have the professional with me. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be also part two of the Q8 Pro review by the professional. And also, we're going to compare it with the SP36 as well. Yeah, because I brought the SP36 out with me today as well. So. We get to see side by side. Q8 Pro and where's the SP36, Faiz? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Q8 Pro, SP36. Side by side comparison by the professional, <laughs> Faiz. <laughs> so my professional, how are you doing? It's been a while. I'm good. I've been <laughs> taking a lot of OTs. <laughs> Over time, yeah. working hard, huh, Faiz? So, Faiz. Yeah. Any uh, professional feedback on the Q8 Pro? I mean, for the price, <laughs> it's really good for the price. For really, the amount yeah? of output, yep. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with this. I feel the same, Faiz. There's a lot of uh, user configurable modes on this. Yes. Right? Get it if you're the kind to go and play around with the modes. Then again, you can just buy it. You don't have to do anything with it if it's on uh, simple mode. But if you need it, there's always the manual for you to configure it yourself. Like. The sky's the limit. <laughs> Basically, but uh, no, the LED is your limit though. <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward, the darkness. Oh, thank you, Faiz. This is your SP36. It's quite good as well, Faiz. And yeah, it just gets overwhelmed. SP36, Q8 Pro. Yep. Okay, there's a bigger hotspot from the Q8 as well. Ah, the color's nicer on the SP36 though. Yeah, because the SP36 is uh, warmer tint. Yeah. Okay, now both of them are starting to get warm. <laughs> I felt that the Q8 Pro heat dissipation is a lot better. Yeah, because it's bigger. Yeah. And because these LEDs are pushed a bit harder on the Q8, mm. it's going to give out a bit more heat compared to the SP36. Okay, the SP36 is getting unbearably hot. <laughs> I'm still holding on to the Q8 Pro. I'm not sure if there's a step down. Let me double click again. Ah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, it, 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 there's a gradual drop. The thermal thing, right? Yes, correct. <laughs> uh, we can configure that as, as well if you if you want it to run... Uh, In advanced mode. Yes, correct. You want it to run on max setting all the way and yeah. burn out your batteries and make it explode into a bomb. Yeah, that's your problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't even notice that the, the brightness dropped. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Because your eyes, okay, it adjusts it. to it, right? Yeah, correct. As the brightness gradually drops. And deeper in we go. How cool is this, Faiz? What happened? Oh, the last time around I was here. Yeah? It was mud. This whole place was literal mud. Oh. Yeah, you can't cross this without mud going into your shoes and into your socks. But now there's gravel. Faiz, do yeah. you think I should take my hiking stick? Why? There's no slopes. Um, I mean, you will never know what would pop out from the bushes. Uh, the hiking stick's not going to help you. <laughs> it's a protection. What the hell is that behind you? What? Your, your stick. Huh? Your stick is behind you. Yeah, I know. Then why do you need it for? 
Yeah, I know, but like, should I use it or not? No. Sure? Yeah, a wild boar's not gonna be stopped by a <laughs> hiking stick. It's not even gonna take it away from you and go hiking. I feel like we are in a field of corn. Children of a corn. I mean, a corn field, not <laughs> field of corn. Oh! Yeah, I feel like I've made a corn field. <laughs> Is this corn? No, it's lalang. Lalang? Yeah. Is that English? Yeah. This is seriously far and deep, Faiz. I hope they keep it this way. I... I... Ah! Spider webs! This is why I need the hiking stick. <laughs> no, it is shack to do that. Faiz, during yeah. the day, people come here and cycle, right? Hike also. Hike? Yep, they walk here too. Yeah. So this path has actually been used a lot. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. So you can see, it's defined, very defined. But of course, it's not as much as the uh, green corridor, the ones that we used to. I mean, that do. one has been paved. I hope they keep it this way. They should have kept the other parts this way as well. Then they More raw, right? Yes. I like raw. <laughs> then you wouldn't have reports of speeding bicycles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no speed limit of 10 kilometers per yeah, hour. Exactly. It's damn stupid. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, seriously, I enjoy this. Ooh, bird! Whew. It's been a while since I came out on an adventure like this. And I will tell you why. I will tell you why this is an adventure. Because I've never been here, and walking here is the unknown to me. So I feel the adrenaline rush, and I enjoy it. Right, Faiz? Yep. What did you find? Uh, no, I thought it was a slug. It's just a snail. It's a snail. <laughs> Seriously, it's been a while since we come out on an adventure like that. I think the last one was what? Clementi Forest? I think so. But tonight, Faiz, it's just you and I. Oh, we can test it here. There's a stretch there. Oh, okay. Well, let's test the SP36 versus the Q8 Pro. So we are going with SP36. Yep. Turbo. One more. There we go. Turbo on the Turbo. SP36. That's the brightness. Whoa! That's the Q8 Pro! Yep. It's a bit more throwy. Yeah. beam, you got a bit more flood, but you get go further, yeah? So you're saying that the Q8 Pro has more flood, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, could you do like a side-by-side, Faiz? So on his left, that's the Q8 Pro. On his right, that's the SP36. I think I need to be on the side. You have to be from that side. If you're able to see whether I light up that big tree over there, better with the or the SP36. Alright, go. Okay. SP36. No, the Q8 lights up better. Yeah? Yeah, the Q8 lights up better. So the Q8 Pro has more throw as well. Yep, with a wall of light. <laughs> <laughs> sure lumens. Yep, sure lumens. <laughs> I learned this all from Faiz. Faiz is my teacher. <laughs> You're yep. my teacher, right? If you want to call me that, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> my light teacher, my flashlight teacher. <laughs> not, not with an E. What? Not with an E. What do you mean not with an E? It's with an A. Teacher? No, flashlight. <laughs> Faiz? Yeah? Is this another R-rated part again? <laughs> I mean, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you'll be like, what the hell is that? Just don't Google it then. So we all know that the Q8 Pro and the SP36 is more or less comparable, right Faiz? Yep. Of course, Q8 Pro wins because 11,000 lumens versus a 5,000 lumens on the SP36. But that's not saying like the SP36 is not good. If you like it smaller, if you like it... <laughs> Faiz, why are you laughing? I did not laugh. You laughed on your own. <laughs> if you like a smaller build, then the SP36 is a good choice for you. Slightly cheaper than the Q8 Pro. But if you want real power and all the lumens in the world that you can have. Well, actually, there's more lumens than that, right, Faiz? There are flashlights that goes up to like 20,000 lumens, right? Correct. Yeah, but at Sofen, the <laughs> highest lumen flashlight that they have is the Q8 Pro. Also, my favorite flashlight, the SP35. Very small, very handy. So here we have the Q8 Pro. Boom, lights up. <laughs> Seriously, it lights up the whole field. <laughs> SP35. Yeah, it just, it just get overshadowed by the, uh, by the Q8 Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
the SP35 is 2000 lumens, isn't it, Faiz? Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for throw, you need to spot things out. It's better with the SP35 and you're spending less. Well, see, this is SP35 at Tobo. But, of course, I can't use Tobo for long on the SP35. It'll heat up very quickly. Yeah, <laughs> if you need the shear lumens for a longer period of time, uh, she'll get the Q8 Pro then. Q8 Pro, yeah. yeah. So, conclusion. Get what you need. No, get the Q8 <laughs> Pro. <laughs> I would say get the Q8 Pro because it does everything. Unless it, it can't fit in your hands. Yeah, un unless, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, I just keep it on my side pocket like that. And I walk. See? So anyways, guys, whichever Sofan product you like, links in the description below, go check it out. Q8 Pro is like 100, around $100. SP36 is like around 60, 50, 60 dollars. SP35 is like around 35 to 40 dollars. So the choice is yours. If you ask me, I recommend Q8 Pro. I love it. Yeah, just to take note, you got to have four batteries though. Yes, Q8 Pro uses four batteries. I told them in the last video. Nice. Right? 36 uses three batteries. 18, 650 batteries. Both are using 18, 650. And if you're still around, adventure continues. Night adventure. Where does this go? Faiz. Yeah. I'm asking you a question. Where does this go? It goes to Kranji. <laughs> what are we going to discover? What are we going to find? Hopefully not IIs. Not what? IIs. What's I? Oh, illegal immigrants. Okay. Yeah. Jeez. You guys, look at this. This is mud, but it's hard mud. Can you imagine coming here in wet weather? <laughs> Everything will be really muddy. A few vlogs ago, I went to Changi Coastal Walk. And I said that I didn't get the adventure that I want. Well, now, this is the adventure I want. <laughs> yes, guys. This is what I'm looking for. In the wilderness. <laughs> it's pretty, isn't it? It's beautiful. <laughs> We've been hiking on this path for over like 45 minutes now. And I enjoy it. <laughs> Sweat it out, but it's fine. It's a wonderful walk. <laughs> Faiz, what did you find? I think a fallen tree. A fallen tree? Okay, hang on. We gotta show them. Like... <laughs> Ooh! Yes, guys! Over there, that's a fallen tree. What? I need to crouch? I can't crouch. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, 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 ow! That's thorns. <laughs> what the shit? Is you need to hold this. What the hell? Ah. Oh. Shit. Is there a cut there? I don't know. I can't see. I got stuck in the ice. Ah. Like bloody flies going everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me see. Well, your face is fine, I think. Hold on. No, yeah, there's a cut. There's a cut? Yeah. A small, tiny one. There's a cut, right? Yeah. Look at this. There are thorns there, Faiz. See? Yep. My bag got caught on this <laughs> and the thorn went oh ow. <laughs> okay. First aid kit. <laughs> no, you don't need it. <laughs> you sure? How bad is it? It's just a nick. Let me see the L C D screen. <laughs> yeah, it's just a nick. My nick's not here. Oh. Yeah, I mean the, the blood's gone. <laughs> no, but you can see the scratch, right? No. No? Look. There's no scratch. That's just your, your wrinkles. <laughs> Faiz! <laughs> I got a fly in my eye from just now. Okay, oh, okay. You, you, All you care about is the fly in your eye. Go, go, go. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone grows old. Huh? So, we made it under the MRT track. Wow. This goes through the MRT track. Hey, wait. Is there an opening? What the heck? Yeah. Why is there a barricade in front and there's a door? I have no idea. See guys, there's a barricade in front and a door. So we are just under the MRT track right now. And Faiz, are we going through the door? Do you want to? Well, it's an open door. It's an invitation to go in. No, the door is missing. Somebody broke open now. What? Yeah, well, the door but is missing. Honestly, it's not stopping anything, is it? 
Okay. Ooh, Faiz. I feel like we are going deeper in the jungle. Like, we don't see the road on the right anymore. There's no more roads. Yeah. But, there's a train. The MRT is there. Oh, I see fallen trees in front, Faiz. I don't know if this is safe or not. I already got a scratch on my head. It's a nick. I don't want a tree to fall on me, Faiz. You will get out before it falls on you. Oh. You're so wise, huh? Guys, we are seriously in the middle of the jungle. I see something straight ahead. What, the tree or the bridge? Well, both. <laughs> Faiz, yeah. you're trying to be funny, huh? What? Fallen tree, and then there's a bridge over there. Whoa. Oh, that's loud. The toads are very loud here, guys. And we see huge toads, like really huge. Okay, maneuvering. Oh, oh. Wow. What bridge is this for? It's abandoned. This bridge is so old, man. It looks like it may collapse. You sure? Man. Wow. What a discovery. guys we have come to the end of our night adventure and again what a discovery look at this arch look at this old ancient bridge <laughs> along the green corridor the green corridor that is not explored yet eventually this green corridor is gonna be the same as what we always travel back in uh, Bona Vista so screw that shit <laughs> oh come on Faiz <laughs> yeah Eventually, they're gonna pave this and they're gonna make it the same so that we can ride all the way here. But, like before, we always come and discover this place and explore this place before it's being renovated, right? Screw those guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> wonderful hike and an adventure tonight. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's night adventure and we will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya! <laughs> I heard Faiz. Faiz did okay. the same time as me. <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs> what an adventure tonight, guys. <laughs> we saw a bridge, an old bridge that is built in 1842. Man, that's more than 100 years ago. <laughs> I mean, World War II is 1942. This is 1842, Faiz. That's 100 years before World War II. Yep. Crazy. Wow. And of course, I got cut as well from Thorns. What a memorable night adventure. <laughs> and of course, always good to see Faiz again. Yeah? <laughs> the professional. Why? <laughs> you know guys, sometimes I wonder. Tonight's night adventure could have gone wrong. What if that Thorn got my eye? Seriously, what if it got my eye? See, Faiz, what? what if that thorn got my eye? We have to cancel this night adventure and you have to send me to the hospital. I'm not going to send you, I'm going to call an ambulance on you. You're going to call an ambulance? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yes, guys, I could have lost an eye today. <sighs> Gotta be careful next time. <sighs> adventure, fun, but gotta be careful. Ah! What? Just when I say I gotta be careful! Ah, what the hell? <laughs> Look at this, there's this hole here! Oh my god! 
Yeah, because I was looking at the camera. I tell you guys, you know what's gonna kill me? Vlogging. <laughs> Vlogging is gonna kill me.